It's time for a super mega ultra fucking early edition of Just the Dip. Hi Chili Padawans, it's Darth Naga here again with the latest Lick My Dip Ultimate Box. So you know what that means, another episode of Just The Dip. Uh, and this one's fucking early, ooh. So uh, yeah, usually I do these quite late, but this one's super fucking early as you can see. So this is the May box. Um, yours will be arriving very shortly, I know, I have no doubt of. But in case you're not fussed about spoilers, I've got it right here. So I tell you what, without further ado, let's go into the down view. Now, okay, here we are in the down view. Here's the latest box. Let's whip this open, have a look. I've literally just taken this out of the plastic wrapper. It's over there. So I have no idea. This came to the door about, about an hour ago, if that. Okay, you ready for this? Three, two, one. Boom. What we got? The May 2006 box. Uh, it's our one year anniversary box. Yay. So, oh, there's so much fucking stuff in here. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's what it is. Lol. <laughs> it's a fucking um, blower thing. Tickle. Something like that. Anyway. Um, uh, so I've got something here from... I've got the Death Brownie from the Chili Shop. I love the Chili Shop. Uh, it's run by Frank J. Uh, and they used to be in Brighton, but I believe it's now in Leeds. So Frank J is pretty cool. He's a good enough bloke. Really, really nice guy. Um, and he, yeah, he used to run the chili shop bite and now he's up in Leeds, living it up and showing the people in Leeds. Uh, it says, do not lick this spot. I bet he's put fucking extract or something on that spot. You know I'm going to fucking lick it. Anyway, sorry, you can't see that. That's upside down. There you go. There's a little spot there. I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to lick it. We'll see in a minute. Uh, oh, shit balls. I've got a party popper here. Whoop, whoop. Uh, that's kind of cool. So we'll, we'll fire those off in a minute when I open the rest of my box. What the fuck's this little bit of straw? Oh, it's a candle. Our oh, one year anniversary candle. How cute is that? Um, we've got the Sands of Time from Grim Reaper. Very nice. Very, very nice. Loads of products in this month's box. And everything's been packed in plastic things. What's this? Ooh, Cool Chili Company. Chipotle's in adobo. So, I wonder what they are. Well, Chipotle's in adobo more than likely. <laughs> right, what the fuck is this? Ah, interesting. Ah, right. So, this is a brand new product from the Wiltshire Chili Farm. It's their Trinidad Scorpion sauce in an, in an awesome little squeezable bottle. And it's got a little gay carabiner with it as well that you can clip on your belt. So, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah. That's pretty awesome, that. Let's put that there. Uh, what's this tiny little bottle here? This doesn't... i tell you what, this doesn't look like sauce. Oh no, it's... It's Bang Bang Super Hot Chili Oil that will blow your socks off. Huh. Bang Bang Oil. So they've, they've sort of... By the looks of it, this one's going to be like pretty fucking hot. And we've got a big, big bottle of sauce. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at what's in here for the sauce. Ah, fucking Dave, you arsehole, wrapping everything in fucking bubble wrap. It takes fucking forever to unwrap it. What we got here? Killer ketchup. Very hot chilli sauce. Good thing I've got my fucking milk with me. Because I'm going to end up, my arsehole's going to fucking fall out after all this. And look, he's even tucked me in. A little lick my dip sticker at the back there. So that's it. That's everything in this month's box. I say that's it. There's a fucking shitload. Um, it looks like almost everything in this month's box is fucking hot. So small tasters for this one, I think. But still, tasters nonetheless. So let's go back to the up view and we can talk about all these products that you can see in this corner here. Okay, let's go to the up view now. Okay, here we are back in the up view. Um... I tell you what, I'm just going to choose a product at random and we're just going to go for it, okay? Let me just get this camera just a little bit closer. There we go. 
that's it. Brilliant. Right. So, oh, it's a good thing I've got a fucking glass of milk with me. Because by the looks like I'm going to need it. I'll tell you what, let's go for the first point. Let's go for this. Let's go for the Bang Bang Chili Oil. Now, interesting, you guys do all know that I do a, a vape um, channel as well, right, over at uh, Full Steam Ahead. Well, this comes in a bottle, which is very, very similar to a, a vape juice bottle, weirdly enough. Um, and this is from Bang Bang Oil, which is bangbangoil.com. you see that above there. Uh, and it says here, super hot chili oil that will blow your socks off. Cold pressed extra virgin rapeseed oil infused with dried butcher lockia, ghost peppers and pure pepper extract for that extra bit of bang. Ingredients, exactly as it says, cold pressed extra virgin rapeseed oil, co uh, ghost pepper infusion and pure pepper extract. And it's produced in Bristol. So, I'm not going to have a spoonful of this stuff because it's fucking oil at the end of the day. Um... I guess I'll have a drop on my finger. I don't know how to really use this. Okay, there you go. Look, there's a drop on my finger. Okay. <clears throat> exactly as it says on the fucking tin. That is some pretty fucking spicy oil. I only had a little drop and that fucking burns. Um, yeah. I can imagine that being used in like um oh fucking hell I had an idea then of what it could be used in that's it so you can brush it on top of things like chicken when you're adding like some herbs and spices brush this oil over the top and you'll get there's not so much a ghost pepper flavour I'm definitely tasting mainly rapeseed oil with a fucking kick right at the back of my throat and since it's fucking oil I'm not gonna you know be squirting it in like that that's mental um but yeah, that's that's pretty warm uh, uh, and slightly tasty. In fact, I'm just going to have another little dab. Hold on. There you go. Slightly bigger dab than last time. Oh yeah, that is fucking warm. Wow. Quite impressive that. Um, yeah, so well done, Bang Bang Oil. Uh, what we got here... Oh yeah, you've got your little um, first anniversary May 2016 box thing that tells you all about the shop. Um, ah, there's something interesting here. Let me tell you about this. You may have also noticed a candle and a party blower in your box. Here's the deal. Post a photo on Twitter or Instagram tagging Lit My Dip with Happy Spice Day and creatively include your brownie, candle and party paraphernalia to win a mystery birthday box from us. Points for comedy. So if I stick the fucking party blower up my ass while while pulling the fucking if I can fart and set the party blower off in a video, do you reckon do you reckon that'll win? I don't know. But yeah, so I haven't actually got a lighter on me because I don't smoke, so we don't have a lighter in the house, but as you can see, the dogs have just gone fucking mental. And um, I would pull the pop up, but I've got two dogs in the house and I won't have time to clean it up. So I might pull it right at the very end when I can clean up. Um, okay, so let's go for something else next. Let's have a look. Cool Chilies Chipotle in Adobo. And these are from the Cool Chili Company, which is coolchili.co.uk. And what these are, uh, it says once open, refrigerate, and use them in four weeks. Made and produced, made and packed in the UK. Smoked diced chipotle chilies in a tomato and vinegar sauce. Chipotles in Adobo add great smoky flavour and heat to soups, sauces, dressings, and salsas. And it's even got instructions to like mix with mayonnaise and stuff to make a nice little dip. I'm missing a trick here. I can make a lovely little dip out of this. Oh, yeah. Oh, it smells amazing. Got my teeth and spoon. Going to have a nice blob of the chilies in adobo. Mmm. Mmm. Nice kick of heat. Not too much. Not too much, just right. And um, yeah, lovely fresh tomato flavour. And very, very smoky, obviously, from the chipotle. What I would recommend doing with something like that is adding it to a chilli by the tablespoon. Actually, the missus is making chilli later on. I shall get her to put some of that in it. Add a nice heaped teaspoon, uh, tablespoon of that into a chilli. 
um, mix it with a bit of oil and use it like a marinade, that sort of thing. Uh, it's really nice, really nice, really smoky, and it's got a bit of a kick. Okay, now, the product that I'm probably most afraid of, the Trinidad Scorpion from the Wiltshire Chili Farm. Um, this is made in Wiltshire by Jimmy and his crew, including Mr. Bond and Mr. Beard. Hello, lads. Um, weirdly enough, I mean, obviously, his website's justchilies.co.uk, or I believe it's fearlessflavor.com. Whichever one of those two I'm, I'm going to use, I'll put it up there. Because uh, it doesn't actually have the website on the bottle, which is really interesting. This is literally straight up cider vinegar, sugar, scorpion chilli, red peppers and salt. So it's a very straightforward sauce. See? I'm going to put some on my spoon. I don't want to waste too much of this because it's... Oh! Motherfucker! Okay, so... Jamie, love the fucking squeezy bottle idea. Problem. Blend it finer, mate, because the fucking... I just got a seed caught in the hole. It wouldn't fucking squeeze out. And look, I've got it all over my fucking hands now. I have no idea where else it's gone. Oh, bollocks. But anyway, I'll try the sauce. <clears throat> yep. It's fucking hot. Oh. Really nice, fresh Trinidad Scorpion taste. <laughs> But of course, <coughs> that classic <coughs> Trinidad Scorpion <coughs> flavour <coughs> and heat. Oh my god. Uh, wow. <coughs> oh. <coughs> wow. Ah. Ah. That's hit me really <gasps> fucking hard. Making it difficult to breathe, actually. Look, I've got to get all this shit cleaned up, oh, up now. So give me oh, five minutes. Okay. As you can tell, I'm still hiccuping. I literally went and cleaned my hand off. I'm still hiccuping. This stuff's hit me really, 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 really fucking hard. Oh, it is literally just. Apart from a little hint of red pepper flavour, it's main, <coughs> mainly just Trinidad Scorpions. And it says here, extreme. And it really fucking is. If you want a pure pepper flavour to go into dishes, curries, chilies, things like that. Or just to fucking drizzle <coughs> on a burger or a hot dog in the barbecue in the summer. Wow. <laughs> and this is the one, look, look, I'm fucking <coughs> sweating. My eyes are streaming. <sighs> I've got to try and calm down before the next sauce. I'm not licking that fucking dot after I've done this. Okay. <sighs> Palette cleansed. <sighs> Let's try this stuff. This is from, it's made in Kent. It's called Hot Face Sauces. Heat rating very hot. Killer ketchup, very hot chilli sauce. Um hotfacesources.co.uk you'll see that above my head just there um, you can follow them on Twitter you can like it on Facebook right ah, ingredients Naga Jalokia chili mash tomato onion red wine vinegar brown sugar garlic water tomato puree paprika and salt I'll be interested to see I'm fucking sweating buckets after that Trinidad Scorpion bastard sauce Ugh. Right, let's give this a little shake. Wow. That twin down scorpion knocked me for fucking six. I've got a fucking horrible feeling this is going to do the same. It smells very nargery. Put a bit on my uh, tasting spoon. Now it says it's really hot, so I'm not going to take too much. But yeah, it's a healthy dose. 34% fucking Nagas. Like a third of the bottle is Nagas. Smells really good. I can smell the fucking... That's got a really strong onion smell to it. Mm. 
and with 34% <coughs> Naga, oh, that's really fucking hot as well. Oh, wow. Oh, fucking shit. Oh. Of course, I'm not hiccuping because I've already fucking opened up the hiccups with the Trinidad Scorpion sauce. Fuck me, is that hot? Typical naga all over the tongue burn. Really fucking hot. It's just kicked everything up a notch. Oh man. Wow. Like, really wow. Well. I swear to god my arsehole is going to fall out after all this. It's fucking bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel right now. Oh, Dave, you bastard. He's definitely put together a hot box for the anniversary, I tell you. Shit alive. Fucking milk on my bib. Fuck you. Fuck you. Right. Let's try. Fuck. That's really fucking hot. It's fucking killing my tongue. Right, what we got here? Grim Reaper, Sands of Time. Barbecue, ghost chili and barbecue. Oh, fucking hell, more ghost chili. Shit alive. Each hourglass contained millions of grains. And he used it for the souls of the world to measure their time on Earth. Um, it's made by Grim Reaper Foods, as you all know. And you can go to GrimReaperFoods.com. Um... Still burning from that fucking ketchup. Wow. Uh, ingredients: spices, ghost pepper, twenty percent, paprika, black pepper, Halen, Mon, Anglesey sea salt, PDO, sugar, fennel, PDO. I don't know what PDO is. Sugar, fennel, fennel seeds, garlic, oregano, cinnamon, cumin, allspice. We use no anti-caking agents. <sighs> fucking hell. Oh, you just know this is going to be fucking stupidly hot. It's the Reaper. At the end of the day, he's known for killing people. Both figuratively and literally. I'm going to have that much. Oh, fucking hell. Right. First off. Flavour. <coughs> the flavour... Nah, fuck. Nah. Yeah, it's fucking hot. Wow. Now this, for some reason, even though it's got naga in it, it really hits the right back of the throat. Back of the throat. Um, lots of flavour. The fennel's really coming through. I'm loving that. And what else? Just all the different, I can't even explain the myriad of flavours, it's so good. I can imagine that going really well on like chicken. <laughs> oh. Oh, fucking nose is running the fucking lot. Look at the state of me. Yeah. So the sands of time. Really, really impressed with that. The flavour's fucking incredible. Nice. Nice burn, nice back of the throat, back of the throat burn. And yeah, it's just, it's really nice. Obviously, there's flakes of fucking naga in it, along with naga powder. And my whole mouth is just fucking on fire. Everything has just combined to be death. But yeah, 
That I reckon would go really, really well on pork, like pulled pork. Nice layer of this on it. You know, cook it nice and low and slow. Low and slow, boys. Low and slow. You cook it low and slow. Pull that shit apart. The spices all soak in. Fucking beautiful. Really, really nice flavour and well worth it. This month's box has been incredible so far. Absolutely incredible. I think I'd like more mild products, to be brutally honest, but hey ho. Okay, interesting. Right, so what we got here is basically a flyer for the chili shop. Um, here's the flyer for the chili shop in Leeds. It's in, I'll tell you where it is. Ah, it's in the Leeds Merion Centre, uh, the Leeds Arena Quarter. So, yeah, the Merion Shopping Centre in Leeds. And it's, it's an awesome little shop, to be honest. There's a chili challenge table, Museum of Pain, um, free Hunger Games darts game. So, there's so much going on. But if you live in Leeds, get yourself to the chili shop in the Merion Centre. There's shitloads of stuff in there. Um, the photos look really good. I don't know how well you can see that, but look, there's the shop. Looks really, really good. And Frank Jay's a top bloke. Tell him Darth Naga said hello. Um, mention me, get a free bottle of sauce. No, I'm joking. He'll fucking kill me for that. Um, but yeah, it says, do not lick this spot. <sighs> okay, I'm going to lick it. If that's pure fucking extract, I'm going to cry. I think I've had so many hot, so much hot stuff. I can't really tell. Oh no. I think that's like a dab of three million or something silly like that. Sort of maybe some one million oil or something because it looks like it's soaked into the card a little bit. I mean the spot's still there, but oh, I can feel, definitely feel a little bit of a burn on the tip of my tongue from where I've licked it. Yeah, there's a definite burn there, so Frank's put extract or something on those. Okay, so apart from the tip of my tongue, um, the rest of my mouth sort of get into a sensible time now. Ah, chili-shop.co.uk, that's Frank's website because I believe as well as having an awesome shop up north, he also does um, online sales. So check that out. Now what we've got here is the Chili Shop Death Brownie. World's hottest ghost chili. Warning, heat rating 8 out of 10. So this is supposed to be a stupidly hot brownie. Um, and you can only get it from the chili shop. Ingredients, sugar, butter, cocoa, eggs, wheat, flour, cocoa, naga, chili. Um, and it's made by a taste of dreams for the chili shop. So this is an exclusive for the chili shop up north. I'm not sure if you can get them online. You more than likely can if you go to his website. Um, but also, if you're in Leeds, then, you know, pop into the shop and go and pick one of these up yourself. Or wait until you get your box and you get a taste of one there. But yeah, let's uh, let's give this a little um, blast, shall we? I'm going to have a little bit of first, see, what it, see how hot it is. Like, like that. Hmm. It's got a kick, definite kick. It's not, it's not stupidly hot. To the layman, it might be, um, but to a seasoned, a seasoned chili connoisseur like myself, it's not that warm. But however, the brownie itself is fucking lush. It's how brownies should be. You know, when they're slightly crunchy on the outside and almost gooey in the middle, with chunks of chocolate. Yeah. That is how a brownie should fucking be. Oh. 
Well, I'm, I'm saving the rest of it. Ma, ma, fuck that, ma, ma. <laughs> um, yeah. That is really, really nice. It's spicy. I'll give it that because I can feel the burn kicking in. It's spicy. Mmm. But it's so nice, I'm just enjoying it. Really good. Really good. Well done, Frank. That's awesome. And I'll be honest, I'm a bit of a sucker for chocolate. So, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this has been my favourite product in the box this month. Ideal. Chocolate, chilli, and a fucking brownie. You can't go wrong. I really like that. The other products are all amazing. I'm not knocking them at all. But that brownie appeals to everything about me as a chilli head. Chocolate, chilli, cakey, love it. Love it. I do like a bit of cake. You only have to ask my missus how much I love cake. Well, you only have to look at my gut and realise how much I fucking love cake. Um, yeah. This month's box, fan fucking tastic. If you look in the description below, you'll see my special affiliate link. And um, if you use the affiliate link, in combination with the um, discount code that I'll put in in the description as well, you you will get some uh, some money off your first box. I can't remember off the top of my head how much it is, but it's a couple of quid at least. And you'll get some money off your first box. And there's two different codes. There's one for the normal box, and there's one for the ultimate box. Make sure you use the right one with the right one that you're buying. All right, with the right one you're signing up for. But please go and sign up for these boxes. We had a little bit of a hiccup last year. Um, whereby the contents of the boxes were a little bit shit to start with, including um, including a lot of fucking hot fucking chilli growing kits. There was like three over the course of a few months, and I swear two of them were back to back. Fucking grow kits. No more grow kits, Dave. We don't want fucking chilli. If, if I want chilli seeds, I'll fucking buy chilli seeds. We want sauces. Um, but yeah. So Joe Bish will love that. Shout out to Joe Bish. Um, he's one of the fucking guys over at Vice. Nice guy. Um, but yeah, big shout out to Joe Bish. Um, so yeah, all really good products this month. Uh, the Chili Brownie is my definite favourite out of all of them. That's sitting in my stomach burning away nicely now. <laughs> um... And yeah, I can't fault it. The Bang Bang oil is going to be great, brushed on chicken and things to give them that extra kick. Um, in fact, motherfucker, I've just realised. Right. This. Mix it with some oil, make it nice, thin it right out. Marinate chicken in it. Right? Marinate the chicken in it. Then, brush said marinated chicken with this stuff. Brush it over the top. Then, while the oil's on the top of the chicken, boom! You sprinkle this over the top. Shove that shit in the fucking oven at roughly 180 degrees, excuse me, for about 45 minutes. Bang. You've got fucking lick my dip chicken surprise anniversary special. There you go. I've given you a recipe right there. This, as a marinade, you know, blend it with some oil, possibly even some of the Bang Bang oil, I don't know. Just blend it with some oil and sit it in the oil for, like, sit it overnight in the oil so it takes on that beautiful smoky barbecue flavour. Day two, you take that chicken out, you chuck it in a pan on a, uh, you can either cook it in a frying pan with this, or what I would do is actually bake it because it's much more healthy, uh, or much healthier. Just brush this on top and then sprinkle that on the top of the chicken as well. Give it that extra bang of flavour and you've got yourself some smoky barbecue fucking awesomeness in a chicken. In fact, if I can get round to doing it maybe uh, maybe maybe next week, I will um, I will do my best to try and get that recipe done and videoed for you guys just so you can actually see how it turns out. Alright? Okay, Chili Padawans, this has been Darth Naga for another episode of Just The Dip. 
Uh, go to linkmydep.com and that's where you can use... No, don't go to linkmydep.com. Go to my affiliate link down there. But yeah, you can get the boxes from linkmydep.com. Use my affiliate link. Use my discount codes. That way I get some money off my boxes. Because trust me, with a wedding, there ain't much money in it. <laughs> um, in the meantime, my chilli Padawans, I shall see you in the next review. May the sauce be with you. Always. I've no fucking idea where that went. <laughs>